Buongiorno Picciotti. Today is a request. We're going to be to make uh, some pizza. A friend of ours asked us to make some pizza dough. So we're going to make pizza dough today. And we're going to start. This is the way I do it, remember, okay? Everybody else does the way they do it, but this is how I do it. I got about two cups of water. It's like warm, warm water. Two teaspoons of uh, sugar. I'm using today a rapid uh, yeast. You can use the, uh, the the other one. The normal takes a little longer. And I got three uh, tablespoons of um, salt. Got about two pounds of uh, flour. I'm gonna use about uh, a tablespoon of olive oil as I go. On this side here, I have my uh, pans already oiled up to put my dough balls on it. All right, let's start. I'm gonna start with um, First, I'm putting more water in it. Oh, wait a minute, I didn't get a drink. Hold on. Salud, we gotta get a drink. Makes better to make pizza dough, makes more fun. Um, I put the sugar first, then uh, yeast, and now let it do its thing. Kind of mix it up with my, what do you call this thing? The whisker? What do you call this thing? A whisk. Oh, the whisk, not a whisker? No. Okay, cool. You kind of just let it sit for a little bit and does this thing with the sugar not the salt I mix the salt in the I mix the salt again what's mixed in uh, in my kitchen aid over here okay so now that those are in there I'm gonna add my uh, about two pounds of flour you wait you just go ahead you just go ahead in okay. there just like that see yeah yeah all right the little uh, little dry yeast little balls whatever you want to call it they already kind of disappeared in there that you cannot really see them anymore okay okay just kind of pour that in there two pounds of flour two pounds of flour yeah any kind of flour uh yes i use regular organic flour just for bread bread what do you call it? bread flour if you can find the double zero that's okay too but i can't find that over here all right, we're gonna hook it up. I guess we wanna come back and. Uh, I wanna watch you hook it up. All right, let's see how this. Is, we can, this is always exciting. Yeah, this is always the fun part. So try to hook. Make sure you got the hook in there, yeah. right? Inside the dough, you got the little nip over here. Is that right? Right there. Kind of push it in. Set it in place. Both sides. Look, give it in the first time. Huh? There we go. Boom. It's locked in there. How high? Wait, because it's gonna get noisy. What do All you the way up. Oh, keep it on one. One. But make sure before it's plugged in, make sure it's on zero. Okay. <laughs> okay. Not on ten. Yes. Okay. And for how long? Uh, I mix for ten minutes. Ten minutes. Ten on minutes. One. On one. All right. Okay. There it goes. If you go right. back inside, a lot of times you need some more flour if it looks too wet. But you measured. I, I know, but that's the way I work. Uh, and I'm going to add some extra water. I don't know if you can hear it. I got some extra water on this side here. Okay, right. okay now it's mixing a little bit. Now I'm going to add my salt to it. The, the sugar and the yeast. The sugar and the yeast got a, did its thing in the flour. I'm going to put my salt. How much salt was it? I got three tablespoons of salt. Oh, okay. three teaspoons, sorry. Three teaspoons. Teaspoon. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. And oil. Now the oil. Oh, noisy. Okay, looks pretty good. Now I'm going to add about a, a tablespoon of oil, okay? measure if he's doing this. Yes, this is pretty hard for me. I use don't measure. <laughs> Trying to help. <laughs> okay. Alright. Looks pretty good. I'm gonna add just a little drop of water. She's kind of dry. And you can hear with the machine it's kind of overworking a little bit. You yeah. hear that noise? See now it's, you put a little more water in there. I don't have a kitchen aid. You do it by hand. Knead it real nice. 
Just buying in like the old days. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just, and give us a when I know when the dough is ready. When it kind of feels nice and firm, when you push down on it, it comes back up. Kind of, you know what I mean? Like a yeah. balloon. All right, we're good. So 10 minutes. 10 minutes, yeah. All right, we'll keep that. So real quick, sometimes the uh, the pizza dough sticks on the sides a little bit. So you want to kind of clean out the sides. You just kind of be careful. Just kind of drop some olive oil just on the, on the edges of the dough. So you kind of, and it kind of almost wipes everything. See how it kind of wipes everything around. It kind of grabs onto every, any dry flour that is there. Okay? And if, it's if it's too wet and sticky, just drop same thing. Turn the machine off because, you know, it can break your fingers. Just same thing, just drop some flour on the sides and it, oh, the flour acts like a sponge and just pulls everything off the sides. But this is nice. You see it's nice and clean on the side, just got a little bit on top, but that's okay, but you got nothing sticking. We got about uh, five minutes to go. All right, guys. It's gonna be about 10 minutes now. We're gonna turn it off. It's a, yeah, it's a noise machine. Come on, kind of take it off the hook. Like that. Whoops. See, nice. You should be able to just grab it. See, nice and firm. You have flour? No. Oh yes, of course. Sorry, I do need a flour. I'm gonna flour just a little bit here. Where's the flour, go? There, there's one in there. Sorry, guys. <laughs> yes, flour. Usually it's right there, but it's gone. Just flour your, your clean countertop. Countertop. Okay. When you see, it's nice. See, I kind of pull pushes back. You know. So tip you let it rest for about let it rest for about an hour. I mean, sorry, for about a minute or two. Just let the dough relax. Like I said, I have my pizza trays here, hand already oiled up. I usually don't measure stuff, but it's easier. It's a big on a small scale. I'm going to cut maybe two to two and a half ounce of dough balls. That makes a good size personal pizza, nice and thin. Okay? Uh, we're going to roll it up. Here we use the, uh, we're going to put it in the proofer. Many times, many times when I used to be in the pizza shop, we used to make the dough. We used to make the dough ahead of time for the next day, like busy weekends. We made everything on a Thursday night ready for Friday and Saturday. So we met the day before. It sat in the fridge for 24 hours, so it was nice and ready. Here we use the instant yeast. We're going to put in the proof. It'll be ready less than a couple hours, you know. Tonight, we're going to make some nice pizzas. Um, I'm going to start rolling a little bit here. I'm used to my little, uh, going to do my little blessing, okay, on top. That's how we do it, make the sign. You can do whatever signs, blessing you guys do, but that's the way I do it. Um, I got my uh, pizza spatula, I got about two, uh, what do you call it? About, uh, this is about two ounces right here. Let's see if I'm right. I went over a little bit. <laughs> I guess I have a hard time because I got to measure everything. My director over here. I didn't say anything. Oh, you're about to say. Uh, you know, actually, that looks pretty good. I said that's more like four ounce. Yes. Forget about the two ounce. That's two ounce. Yeah. See, like I said, this is about four ounce. Okay. So, so four ounce makes a good. Yeah, but four ounce makes a good, nice personal pizza, not too thin, not too thick. Just a little more. All right. Let's see here. There you go. Perfect. I'm gonna do one more, okay? Because I don't want. Well, I could cut the whole thing. Okay, and then I'm gonna roll it. There we go. All right, rolling it because I've been doing it for so long. It's pretty easy for me. Some people might be hard. Just gonna grab the dough this way. See, just kind of pull the sides and just roll it and fold it in. Just fold it and fold it till you get a. What do I call this? Una punta, una nipple. A point. A point. All right, cool. You take it. Ready. Mm -hmm. Upside down first, see, to oil it. oil it, and then I got both sides oiled. All right. All right, look at it again. This is the real stuff, like this. This is how you do it. 
That's when he used to make 50 pounds of dough a day. Boom. See, look at that. One more. Here, look. Uh, like this. Oh, my dog got pissed off. He didn't like that. All right, we're good. See, it? Yeah. See perfect. Dough ball. All right, we'll continue this. Happy Tina. How do we edge? Happy tarde. Ciao. Hola, Pichotti. Hola, Pichotti. We're back. We're going to put in a proofer here for about a couple of hours. Just going to. Put it in there. And uh, I had a question f a friend of ours. He said her dough came out like a cracker or something. Didn't taste right, didn't rise. It did rise, but when she baked it, it looked like it tastes like a cracker. I don't know. My opinion sometimes maybe too much salt. I don't know. But I, they might be. Google it, I guess, but I'm just my opinion. <laughs> but anyway, we got it in there. Maybe we show you the pizzas afterwards. All right. I know that. Happy tarde. Ciao. Happy tarde. Ciao. We're gonna do some quick pizza sauce. Might as well. We got the pizza sauce. We're gonna make the sauce. Really easy. We got about a can of uh, whole peeled tomatoes, or like Cynthia calls it. Pellet tomatoes, Shut you know, up. the pellet tomatoes, the 16 story. ounce, 16 ounce peeled tomatoes, mm -hmm. like this. We got some garlic, salt, pepper, and sugar. We'll pull it out of it in a second, just a little sugar and fresh base out of the patty that we just picked. I got my little mixer here, whatever this stuff is called. Kind of blend it like that, real easy. Yeah. If you go the wrong way, it makes a mess. <laughs> it can splatter everywhere. It's in the back, you don't see it on the You see how smooth that is now? Nah, really, uh, really easy. No big deal. And again, comes to measure, I'm gonna sit this here. Measure, I really don't measure. This is about a teaspoon, I would say. Right, let's see. But a teaspoon, maybe yeah, maybe a tablespoon. I like a lot of garlic. <laughs> salt. Uh, salt, take it easy. Maybe a teaspoon, because you can always add more salt. Same thing on the pepper. Maybe a teaspoon of pepper. Nice, a little spicy, okay? People like to put oregano cheese and this and that. Very simple, okay? You can do whatever you like, though. You like all that crazy stuff? 100,000 spices, just kind of break the basil in there, real small. I like big stuff, big chunks. Just kind of throw it in there, see how big it is. Because, there we go. And we just, and the sugar. Excuse me, I'll be right back. I got the sugar. I think about a half a teaspoon of sugar. I know people are like, hey, sugar? Yes, it's okay. I don't think you know teaspoons. <laughs> Teaspoon, half a spoon. Oh, I just there we go. Just kind of mix it, and of course, if it sits in the fridge longer, all those flavors kind of marinate. You know, when you say, "Oh, the sauce tastes better the next day," yes. So we're gonna use this tonight. And that's it. There is to it. Done. Hi right, guys, it's been a several hours. The dough is done. Proofing, as you can see, looks really good. I'm gonna make a veggie pizza tonight. That's how I'm gonna start with a veggie boy here. I got my pizza scraper. Flour. Both sides. You see that? Just a little flour on top of your countertop so it doesn't stick. And just kind of push the edges. You don't want to too thin in the middle. See, I'm kind of leaving a little bump. Then just kind of press it down. Don't be nervous. Then kind of flip it. I'm going to make a crust. It's easier for me because I used to do this for a while. You see, kind of I'm building a little crust here. And yeah. Keep everything on 
on the inside. Just kind of push it down. Again, the middle, that's important. You don't want a nice soggy pizza in the middle. And, you know, again, you don't have to... I'm going to stretch on a counter. Do it slow, so you can show how. See, kind of push and pull, push and pull, push and pull with my right hand. Okay, nice. It's just a personal pizza. Because we're not in a pizza shop and we don't have all the fancy stuff. I'm going to put right on my olive oil pan here so it doesn't stick. Okay. You see? Nice. Alright, so we got sauce, mozzarella, some provolone, a bunch of veggies here. Simple. Basil, tomatoes, green peppers, jalapenos, some common olives and uh, to stand up broccoli okay i got my sauce ready okay again i'm just gonna start in the middle funny likes a lot of sauce i'm doing two scoops okay just like that just a little more sauce i mean he likes a lot of sauce Some mozzarella. You know, keep everything kind of in the middle. Stay with like, you know, half inch of the uh, edge here. You do prolong? Prolong, put it on top so ah. we keep everything together. Okay. So we got the tomatoes. Okay, then we got the peppers. Our green bell peppers, uh, black olives. Some jalapenos. Then, sorry. Some uh, nice and steamed uh, broccoli here. Okay, I'm gonna put some basil, basil leaves. Just kind of break them down. You know, with some olive oil on top, kind of flavor it a little bit, like that. Some oregano. Some pecorino romano, parmesan cheese. Right on top. And I like to put a little salt and pepper because kind of get those vegetables a little spice usually I have that thing already mixed up in a, like a little bowl all right just a little, little olive oil then I put some nice provolone right on top to kind of pull keep all those vegetables together and that's it Gonna put it in the oven. What what temperature? This one I got a 450. How long? Till it's done. Till it's done. Typically about 10 minutes. Look at 10 or 15 minutes, but I keep checking it, okay? Alright. See you soon. Alright, big shot I think the pizza is ready. Sounds pretty good. It's talking to me, sizzling. Look at that. Wow, not bad for us. Whoa, that was hot. Anyway, <laughs> look at that. Nice. Just kind of slide it over the top. It's all veggie. I think it looks pretty good. Like... You're going to cut six slices out of this baby. Just like that. Is that six? Yes. <laughs> I think it is. Look at that. All right. Like, like to know what we're doing. 
Hopefully it tastes pretty good. Wait a minute, where's my drink? Arrivederci, alla prossima. Ciao.